I love what he said. He said, it's those who are crazy enough to believe you can change the world that actually do. So many cynical people out there right now. Well, you think you can change the world? Yes, I believe it. I, 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 I prophesy it. I believe what we're doing here is changing the world. It's changing our city. It's changing our nation. It's changing our region. I do this weird thing from time to time. I don't know if you do it, but you, I mean, it's what I do. From time to time, I go in my bathroom, I look in the mirror, and I go, are we good? Are we doing what we said we're gonna do? Are we focused? Are we determined? Are you gonna let other people's criticism get the best of you? Are you gonna stay focused on God's will for you? But I don't know if you ever do this, but I have a conversation with myself. I believe that in life, if you're gonna fulfill everything that God has for you, you gotta become your own preacher. Prayer is our first response, not our last resort. You've heard people say, after you've tried everything, pray. No, before you try anything, pray. There's this quote that says, he who aims at nothing, hits it every time. It's like you can speak truth, but it has to be with grace. You can't, they work in tandem, they work together. I don't know why people can't just say, listen, I'm a Christian. I believe in the Bible. I didn't used to believe in the Bible, but I asked Christ to come into my heart. When he did, my eyes opened, my heart opened. I began to read the Bible. The words were jumping off the page. It changed my life. It was a miracle. You should have seen me before. It's a miracle what happened to me. Now I believe the Bible. So if you want to know what I think about this, that, or the other, read the Bible. Take good out of the world, you're left with darkness. And I feel like we're in a place right now in society where we don't understand that. We're in a place in society where we're always finding different ways to push God further. We're always finding different ways to push God out of this, out of that. Just put him in that little religious box for your church people. We're okay over here. Take your God, put him in a box, close it, y'all do your thing. And then we wonder why we're left with darkness. This thing is supposed to be a movement of people all over the world, right? And God, what role am I supposed to play in that? You know, I think if we stop asking the right questions, mm -hmm. you're always going to get the wrong answers. Mm -hmm. The shepherd gives sanity where there was chaos. The shepherd pens you in, not to lock you down, but to give you the abundant, wise, discerning, wisdom-filled life. Jesus is the promise. The, the, the end of a healing, that isn't the promise. The promise is Jesus. Where Jesus is at, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The same Spirit that rose Christ from the dead now lives in you. It's not the healing that's the promise. It's not the restoration that's the promise. The promise is Jesus. The promise is His Spirit. He says, don't just say you love me. Does your actions reflect that you love me? How many people, I love God. You look at their lives, you're like, you don't. Your actions don't back up that you love God. You can't love God and love sin. You can't love God and live in sin. You can't love God and sleep with whoever you want to and think you're loving God. You can't love God and cheat people. You can't love God and hurt people. I believe when you go to church, you should have such a moment with Jesus that you live wrecked. You don't live the same. Why? Because you had an encounter with him. You don't care if your makeup runs. You don't care if you look disheveled. You don't care if you look foolish. David said, I will be even more dignified in this. I will give Jesus the praise that he deserves. When you take heaven seriously, you will take this world seriously. Because this is where the action is. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to bring action here to this place. See, it's about partnering with God now. Not later. Later is just a continuation of what you already began. It's creating pockets of heaven on earth. New ways, listen, I'm so excited about this. New ways to accomplish, new creative ideas, new creative tasks, celebrating his name, glorifying him. True worship is your life excited, energized to do God's will. That's true worship.